In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to integrate WP Courseware with Magic Members membership plugin. The first step in integrating WP Courseware with Magic Members would be to actually create or to configure your membership level. On the left hand side, if we click Magic Members, next select Members under the Magic Members menu. Towards the middle of the screen, you'll notice there's a tab called Subscription Options. Go ahead and click on that. And here you'll notice all the various subscription packages. There's a trial free member, and if we scroll all the way down, I believe you can create a new membership type. For purpose of this video tutorial, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just use the free. I've actually taken the liberty of adding a redirect to my course outline, which we will go over here in just a few minutes. So once you have your membership subscription package already configured, the next step would be to create a training course. So on the left hand side if you select training courses then training courses, you'll notice that I've already taken the liberty of creating a training course. Now if we go into the training course we want to take a look at the user access. You'll notice that there's two options under user access, automatic and manual. If this is going to be your only course on this website, then we recommend that you select automatic. And what this will do is it'll actually automatically enroll your students to the course that you've created once they register with Magic Members. Now, if you're going to create more than one course on this website, then we highly recommend that you select the manual option. And what this will allow you to do is to manually assign a course to a student once they register through Magic Members. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select Automatic and select Save All Details. Okay, so the next step would be to actually create modules. However, if we go back to our training course, you'll notice that I've already created a module for this particular training course. And so the very next step after creating modules would be to create units. So on the left hand menu under course units select course units. And you'll notice here again I've already created two course units. However there's a very important step in here that we need to look at. When you create your units you need to remember you have to assign them to a membership level. So if we select the sit command unit we're going to come in and notice on the right hand side that you can select which membership level you like to select to apply this course unit to. So in our case we're going to go ahead and use the free membership level. And once you select that go ahead and select update. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this very same thing for the other unit. Okay, great. Now we've actually assigned these two particular units and protected them under the Magic Members subscription level, which is in this case the free one. Now the very next step would be to create your course outline. And to do so, what we're going to do is click Pages, then All Pages. And you'll notice I've already created the Training Your Dog 101 course outline but we need to go ahead and configure this as well so let's go ahead and select edit and you'll notice that I have already taken the liberty of selecting the free membership level but I just kinda wanted to walk you through the process just so that you get used to assigning each page or unit to that particular membership level so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and hit update for good measure and the very next step would be to actually register via Magic Members. In order to do so what I'm going to do is open up a separate browser and I'm going to come in here and we're going to go ahead and register and this is the actual membership level that I'm signing up for and I'm going to go ahead and hit register now we've been registered now we need to log in and I'm going to go ahead and pause this video so that I can Go grab the password from my email and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and log in. And click login.
and now we are at our course outline. Now if you notice here we've got a couple units that we had created and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click into the first unit and obviously there would be some content here maybe a video tutorial or a downloadable PDF in which your student would watch and upon completion of watching that they would select mark as completed because this particular unit would be done okay great so now what we want to do is we want to head back over to our admin side and what we're going to do is on the left hand menu select users then all users and you'll notice that user one was registered successfully and you'll also notice that it already took into consideration that I completed the very first unit now if you had multiple courses on this website um, just as I mentioned earlier you would have selected manual as opposed to automatic enrollment and so at this point what you would do is you would actually come into the same area under users and you would assign a course to a student manually and to do so basically you would find the user that you would like to assign a course to and select update course access permissions and once you get into this screen you'll notice that there will be a list of courses and on the left hand side you're able to select which course or courses you would like to apply to this particular student and obviously this would be based on this, the, the subscription level or membership level that the student purchased all right well that concludes this video on how to integrate WP Courseware with Magic Members membership plugin thank you for watching